good morning on another beautiful day in Southern California. I am down in Oceanside, getting ready to go surf south side of the pier, except the couch surfing show is here. Wait, I don't really want to be on there. <laughs> I'm like worried about going surfing because they roast everyone. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I might try and surf away from that, but it looks super fun. I'm excited. Uh, today's going to be an incredible day. I've got a really good feeling about it. I'm going to suit up, get ready to go out. I'm going to ride my shortboard today for sure. And yeah, man, like I feel like we're doing it. I've already got a couple people that have reached out. Uh, I got a couple videos that I'm going to make that are going to be good for Instagram. And yeah, man, like I'm responsible for my own destiny and I'm making it happen. And I'm also going to eat this papaya. <laughs> papaya is the best fruit and you can't convince me otherwise. I'm sorry. There's nothing that even comes close. Like, what are you going to do? Go to the grocery store and pick out an apple before you get one of these? Like, look at how much real estate this has. And this is only one half. But you got to make sure you pick the right one. Because just like anything else, if you get one that is too hard, it's going to be like, you know, plowing into a brick with your spoon. If you get one that's too soft, it's going to be like... Ugh. I've also found that it is the ultimate post-coffee food because it helps balance me out and I'm not tweaking out as much before I go surfing, which is great. The only thing that might even come close is maybe a mango, but that's like smaller, not as good. The waves actually look really fun, like best I've seen in a while. So hopefully I can actually surf today. I haven't been filming at all, but it is so fun. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, no wind, fun like wedges. This session was actually kind of insane. I didn't film any of my waves. Maybe they're on the couch surfing show, so we'll see. Maybe I'll post them in a later video. And yeah, I made it. I'm here, as you can't tell, but I'm at the cop shop. Got a breakfast burrito, drink some water. And I'm gonna go work. Just got confirmation I am booking a new client for editing, which is gonna be insane. So I'm super grateful for that opportunity and excited for what's to come. Uh, I'm gonna start cold emailing people, maybe go into a couple businesses, but let's go get some coffee and do some hard work, basically. Not hard work in the sense of like blue collar work, but just like brain, uh, mind boggling, I guess. It is now easier than ever to be an action sports athlete and most of y'all are missing out. This opportunity exists in every action sport, but I'm gonna talk about surfing because that's what I know. Instead of the same old song, chasing the qualifying series to the world's worst waves, hopefully qualifying for the world tour so that at some point you might be able to afford a decent living, you can 10X that measly income by making videos around surfing, doing whatever the hell you want, chasing waves, getting barreled, laughing at your own bad jokes, <laughs> making a 3D printed surfboard just for fun. The new wave of free surfing extends way beyond just making movies, but rather documenting the incredible life that we get to live as surfers. And no, you don't have to dance if you don't want to. Think Ben Gravy, Nathan Florence, JLB, Zeke. Instead of scrounging to pitch to sponsors with the hope that you might make the world tour one day with completely untraceable ROI for those brands, you can now come back at them with real analytics for how your videos and how your content is doing by promoting them across your channels organically, like it should just fit within your life. The average cost to advertise across social media is about $10 for every thousand views. So you get a video with a million views, that's about 10 grand in ad spend that these brands could get for a fraction of the cost if they chose to partner with you long term and just be a part of your whole growth as a creator. I'll use myself as the perfect example. I'm not the best surfer, not by a long shot. I was, I'm a freaking nerd, I'm an engineer. But I can hold my own and I'm obsessed with surfing in anything from one foot to 40 foot. Right now I get paid to surf and make videos about it. It's incredible. Literally the sickest thing ever. You might not be core anymore, but you're gonna have way more fun. I can pretty much guarantee you that. I've been helping brands and other athletes make videos, manage their social medias for a while now. It's been more of a side income and this is the only video that I'm gonna do on this channel about it. I've legitimized my content creation and media management business under Beach Cowboy Creative, so go follow that account. I'll be posting more about social media on there, but for now, I'm keeping this engineering, surfing, fun, laughs. You can message me if you'd like to learn more. I think you should follow it. You'll definitely learn something. I mean, what sounds better? Penny pitching forever and losing to a 12 year old at the Pismo Beach QS or penny pinching for maybe a couple years and getting to do whatever you want for the rest of your life and getting barreled and having fun. It's pretty incredible and way more rewarding, I think. Hate it or love it, you can use it to your advantage and make a positive impact on other people's lives. It's pretty epic. It's that time of the day. <laughs> Let me go for a jog. It's been a little windy and I need that kind of release at the moment. Something hard. Surfing isn't hard enough. <laughs> well, that's brutal. That means we have to go up there. I hate it when they do this. This thing's clean. Halfway point, San Clemente State Beach. Look at how nice it is. About 30 minutes from my house. I think it's like, I don't know how far that is. 
like like four four miles or something <laughs> i had some chocolate and chicken i know it's a random combination but i got a rotisserie chicken from sprouts and some chocolate chips and i'm does not feel good Whew. i literally had to stop because I feel like I was going to freaking soil my pants. And I think it's because I had an Olipop. It's like a prebiotic soda thing. I'm sure you know what they are. Holy crap. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Oh, man. I should be... I'm feeling better. I should be able to keep going here in a sec. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's so nice. Today was okay. I had a few um, personal things that I was dealing with most of the day, so I didn't get to create as much as I wanted to, but it's all good. And it's just like part of life. And yeah, that run felt insane. I feel good. I'm like I've got this new client where I'm gonna be editing videos for them and helping them with the short form, which is epic. And yeah, just gonna work on getting some more my friend's supposed to come, he just called me, he's from El Salvador, he's supposed to come and I'm, I told him like a month ago I would take him, not a month ago, probably two weeks ago that I would take him up to the QS at Pismo next week, but then he canceled because he, he was on the alternate list, and now I guess he's first alternate, so I think he's coming, which is normally because I need to fix my van and reinsure it, because the insurance lapsed, this, I've, all, I've been having so many issues with the insurance of this freaking van, holy crap, so I gotta figure that out this weekend, I got the parts I needed to fix it, I don't remember if it needs an oil change, so we'll see. I don't know. I gotta figure that out tomorrow. Because <laughs> Sunday I'm doing a meet and greet with Brendan and Santa Cruz Paleo at Surf Lounge in PB from 9 to 11. So cruise through. If you see this video and I see you there, and you say you saw this video and I see you there, that's cool. Look at this train. That's what will be pretty sweet. We're moving up. We're moving up. Let's freaking go.